received from this. Very good, very good. So uh, I'm very happy to welcome you uh, in this institute where we try to hold this conference in so difficult time. And uh, what I want to draw your attention to is the marvelous symmetry of today day. Two, two point, one, one point, two, two, the perfect symmetry. And maybe this is a sign from above and uh, promise us to have a successful conference. Uh, I don't want to take much of your presentation and only want to say to remind you that we are going to devote maybe the most effort efforts to uh, discussion. And uh, in this respect, I would like to ask uh, the discussion leaders not to hesitate and uh, to try to take on the role of prophets when they will formulate the uh, summaries of their sessions and to clearly uh, exhibit the most important unresolved problems. And if after this conference we'll find ourselves deep in thought, about how to resolve these problems, I think that we'll be very happy and uh, the job we've done would be good. So now I think we have to come to physics and I leave you to our chairman. Thank you. Good morning. Да. This meeting is being recorded.
Ok. Okay, let's start. Okay, uh, good morning to everybody. Uh, I'll discuss today uh, the cathedral status of cosmology and actually it was supposed to be a talk by Valery Rubakov passed away in October and uh, I will give some uh, uh, comment about his contributions, his actually enormous contributions to the development of the cosmology. Uh, if uh, okay. Uh, so if you look at the standard model of particle physics and general relativity, there are many problems and uh, uh, many problems from the point of view of uh, phenological description of some uh, well uh, phenomena or some some events we have some puzzles we have uh, from phenological point of view like neutrino oscillations or dark matter baryon asymmetry and all a lot of things and theoretical uh, problems. Uh, and uh, well, there are some of them like dark energy, which uh, may be you know related to both. Uh, and actually, many of them are related to cosmology. Uh, and if you look at uh, them, it happens that Rubakov actually contributed to development of all of these uh, directions, and will um, touch them at which stage they are at present. Mm. It somehow doesn't work. Uh, sorry, uh, this clicker doesn't work. 
Oh. Okay. Um. Now. Um. Uh, the, yeah, the, so, somehow it uh, happened to stop the work, maybe. Oh, great. Uh, so if you look at the history uh, of uh, our universe, as at least we understood it now, uh, 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 yes, yeah, so, uh, well, there are some uh, periods in the expansion of the universe uh, where he, the universe was called hot, and there are several stages. Uh, and uh, uh, Presently, we are at the stage of accelerated expansion. And there are other stages which are important uh, to address the issues of uh, matter antimatter symmetry and the dark matter and why the universe is flat and uh, homogeneous and isotropic. And at the same time, uh, there are some matter perturbations which uh, raise uh, to the galaxies and galaxy clusters at present. And that should supposed to be some other stages uh, in this um, you know, history where uh, some biogenesis worked or, or the um, mechanism uh, responsible for the dark matter production operate in the universe. And uh, actually Rubakov discussed uh, all these things and um, uh, suggested some ways, some models, some uh, ideas how to uh, tackle with the problem. Uh, presently, we know the history of our universe back to the epoch. Uh, where the temperature was at the level of two, three MeV. Uh, this is the first, uh, the first event we definitely know happened in the universe, in our universe, and it's associated with neutrino decoupling. Okay, and we know this because the neutrino, neutrinos being decoupled from the plasma, still contributed to the expansion rate of the universe. And the next uh, important uh, stage uh, in the universe uh, development was the nuclear synthesis, primordial nuclear synthesis. And at this stage, uh, we have uh, the you know the, the chain of uh, nuclear production, uh, and uh, we have the nuclear rate from uh, we we measure or we understood in particle physics. And at the same time, it competes with uh, the expansion rate of the universe, and the outcome, the result, how many uh, various uh, the, the abundances of the chemical elements depend on this competition. So in this way, we can measure the expansion rate and all that it, it was neutrino was present in the early universe. Later, we uh, well we recognize the uh, equality, the epoch where the universe uh, comes from radiation dominated to matter domination. Then the combination uh, actually we knew we we, we got learned about the uh, hot universe because of this uh, cosmic micro background radiation. And actually, if we discuss the present content of the universe, only this component will merge directly. Then we have the realization uh, where uh, the uh, hydrogen was uh, distracted by, uh, by, by uh, the photons. And uh, uh, then uh, uh, deceleration, the epoch where the universe started to uh, the, the, uh, they, trans, uh, tra uh, they came to the epoch where the universe uh, started to expand with acceleration. And uh, this is a very important epoch. After that, the universe is presently at the stage where the uh, dark energy dominated in the, uh, in the universe. So, well, even, I mean, uh, even a nuclear synthesis, we still have problems. 
say uh, uh, the uh, standard prediction for nuclear synthesis. You can you can uh, do it yourself. There are some open uh, numerical course in the internet, and you can run this program and uh, depending on the cosmological parameters, predict the abundance of uh, chemical elements. The important ones are here. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, while we have some uh, progress from the theoretical point of view, from the point of view of calculation of these numbers, we have also some progress uh, from the point of view of observations. Uh, but uh, the progress from that part usually, you know, takes a kind of uh, some, uh, looks like some kind of uh, um, jumps from one number to another one number. And here is just three, uh, uh, slides, historical slides, uh, to, to, to show the, the situation. And generically, there is only one problem with, uh, 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 with uh, nuclear synthesis, okay? This is the lithium abundance. Uh, all other uh, predictions are more or less consistent with uh, uh, expectations from the point of part of theory. Okay, here is the variant of photon ratio. Uh, here is the, the abundance of chemical elements. And uh, here is a prediction of the BBN. Uh, okay, uh, and here is the prediction of the BBN from the point of view of, uh, you know, from as a function of, of the baryon number. Okay, uh, and uh, here is observation of, uh, you know, boxes, and you see uh, that uh, all of them are in agreement with prediction with uh, theoretical predictions except the lithium, and this situation uh, is with us for for decades. Okay. However, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, uh, observers uh, find some uh, new numbers, okay, and then it happens that uh, some uh, new physics should be involved, uh, new cosmology should be involved to explain that. For example, uh, almost 10 years ago, it was a popular that uh, some change in the in these numbers happened, and uh, it was popular the situation where we have not just uh, three neutrinos like we have in the standard portal, but by but more neutrinos, okay? One more neutrinos, like uh, say we, it's now popular from the point of view of explanation of uh, anomaly, uh, anomalies in neutrino oscillations. Uh, uh, later, uh, five years ago, everything were back, okay, to the standard standard cosmology, no any neutrinos, everything is agreement with uh, these predictions. And by that time, uh, the most accurate measurement uh, of the chemical elements was uh, of the baryon number by the time happened due to the Planck measurements. Actually, uh, measurements of the baryon number, um, uh, baryon to photon ratio at the time of uh, of production of, of recombination. Okay, still we have the lack of lithium. Okay, uh, and uh, later uh, this year. Uh, it happens that the situation turned again. Uh, the experimentalists change the numbers. Okay, actually, well, um, and uh, here is, uh, you know, the the the, uh, the plots plots with uh, here is the uh, abundance of helium. Here is abundance of deuterium, and uh, this is the, you know, the uh, the uh, uh, the value uh, uh, in, in PDG, in uh, 2021 PDG, okay, and here is the value of the 2021 PDG for the deuterium, uh, and uh, here is, uh, you know, a uh, prediction uh, of, uh, of uh, this number. Uh, if you take into account the new measurements, uh, here is uh, the one, the green one, okay, new measurements of this, of this ratio, it's changed, you see, the green, Stuff and the light green stuff. This is the difference. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, here, uh, uh, the, the change was not so, not, not, not so dramatic. Uh, actually, uh, if you try to explain this from the point of view of, um, uh, of uh, you know, uh, mm, number of neutrinos as a typical case. Okay? You add new component uh, to the plasma, and then you change the expansion rate because of that. So it happens that uh, in this in, in this type of modification, uh, the data prefer now prefers now uh, less number of neutrinos than three. Okay, so it's negative negative number of del delta n nu presently. 
And uh, here is, uh, you know, attempt to explain this within the standard model, okay, uh, it's a standard model predictions, okay. Uh, and here is this number, and here is the, the measurement, and uh, also attempt to do it uh, by introducing some new physics. And the new physics here implies, from the point of view of cosmology, something which contributes to uh, to expansion uh, to expansion rate. And this is uh, well, uh, additional degrees of freedom, but it actually comes with, uh, comes with uh, either positive or negative signs. So here I explained you you need negative thing. Uh, and uh, also, uh, you can introduce uh, something else, and something else here is another component, which is called uh, here they tested um, neutrino asymmetry, asymmetry in the neutrino sector, asymmetry between neutrinos and antineutrinos. Here, like we have asymmetry uh, in protons and antiprotons. So here they introduce these two things and uh, try to you know fit the data these two different uh, different um, Mm, uh, technical tools, uh, which, uh, well, this is numbers, NAC and primate. The, the, the difference is how they treat the errors from the, uh, from the uh, theoretical point of view, the calculations, calculations of um, uh, abundances uh, and the errors mm -hmm. in these calculations, okay? Uh, you know, it's, it's how it looks like if you look at this plot, uh, two new ingredients, uh, number of neutrinos, and here is this uh, um, uh, uh, asymmetry. And uh, the, you know, the, the idea is that you don't need additional neutrinos if you look uh, at the results of uh, analysis of uh, um, cosmic microwave background radiation. Okay? You don't need, certainly, you, 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 you go this this issue. Uh, however, here you want to do it somehow, so they introduce another thing, asymmetry between neutrinos and antineutrinos, and, you know, uh, they um, contribute differently. Uh, the uh, initial ingredients, the new ingredients change the Hubble rate, uh, this asymmetry change the uh, density of neutrons at the decoupling, and so in this way change the uh, outcome uh, for, uh, for the uh, gallium abundance. And uh, here you see uh, you can have uh, zero, uh, zero delta n uh, at the uh, price of uh, having non zero asymmetry. Okay. Uh, and uh, well, actually, this, there are kind of uh, degeneracy uh, here. If you introduce balls, it's just to illustrate here is asymmetry, here is this uh, 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 helium to proton ratio. And uh, changing this number again, and here is some, you know, some uh, measurements, okay? And so you see there is, uh, you can uh, actually explain uh, the asymmetry, the, the uh, outcome playing with this asymmetry uh, and even uh, increasing the number of neutrinos, okay? That's the point. Uh, and it's int interesting from the point of view of an, uh, neutrino anomalies, for example. However, here is uh, why I discuss this issue. Uh, first, it's this year, and the second, because it's related to the asymmetry in the sector, and asymmetry we did because of the problem of meta antimatter asymmetry. We know there are uh, three conditions by Sakharov uh, for successful baryogenesis. We need the violation of baryon number, okay? Uh, so you need some microscopic, uh, you know, uh, uh, process which results in, in the change of the baryon numbers. Uh, you need the uh, violation of CNCP uh, invariance. Uh, otherwise, you can have a, a process with the production and uh, destruction of the, the variance at the same rate. Or, or, or at the same rate, and uh, uh, also we need to have them out of equilibrium. Otherwise, the net result is zero. Okay, and uh, this is the Sakharov's condition to produce uh, baryon asymmetry. Well, actually. Uh, uh, Rubatov, Iskustin, and Shapochnikov realized uh, that if you look in the early universe uh, and uh, try to calculate uh, and look at the, at the anomaly, we have this baryon, uh, baryon current, this is anomaly related to the uh, SU, SU2 uh, uh, weak, weak uh, sector. Uh, so you calculate the, the conservation of this, of, of the baryonic current, and it happens that it's not zero, okay? And uh, it, uh, this contribution can result in change of the baryon numbers. And uh, uh, this is a uh, topological term. So the baryon number change by, by uh, uh, integer counts. 
um, they realized that this this, this process, this this integral, can be saturated uh, by the phalerons, and the phalerons in the early universe. If you imagine that the, in the early universe there was an epoch where uh, the temperature was above 100 GV, then in this uh, uh, temperature interval they are in equilibrium. Okay, and so in the early universe in plasma, the baryon number is violated. Okay? This was the, the great, the, 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 and, and it allows to, you know, to produce the baryons uh, in the early universe. And uh, the second contribution uh, was that they later they realized that also the same thing happens uh, for the lepton numbers. Okay, uh, the lepton, uh, the lepton currents, you have three lepton currents in the uh, standard model, forget about neutrino oscillations. Uh, then this electron currents are also anomalous, uh, actually by, 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 by the same triangle di diagram, and again, by, because of the same as you do uh, theory, because of the fact that, uh, you know, the fermions we have are uh, uh, left-handed. Uh, so uh, they also could, uh, change the lepton number, okay? Uh, and this, uh, this by the same spheral process, which are in equilibrium and plasma. And then if you look at all these uh, four currents, Actually, only three of them, are, only one of them are violated. Three of them are conserved. Okay, you can contribute, you, know, you, you can introduce the difference between the, the number, these numbers conserved, but uh, the uh, one of them uh, is violated, violated by the solarons. And that means that actually in the early universe, uh, you also change the lepton numbers, and for sure, you mix baryons and leptons. And this allows you to introduce. Uh, you know, in other way to to you know, ad address the issue of the meta anti meta symmetry in our universe. Okay, uh, you can uh, imagine that uh, it's not because of the violation of the baryon number in the early universe, but but because of the violation of lepton number in the early universe, and then because of this phaleron transitions, the uh, you know the amount of asymmetry in lepton sector redistributed between the two sectors between baryons and leptons. And this was the uh, initial idea be behind the electrogenesis, okay? And uh, uh, the uh, people realized immediately that uh, now we can do the electrogenesis uh, uh, instead of baryogenesis, okay? And that can be done with the sterile neutrinos, for example. And uh, that was popular and it's still very popular because uh, if you look at the Technological problems on the standard model, the only one uh, real we have in particle physics is in problems with neutrino oscillations. We know that neutrino cycles is different as we compare it to the standard model. Uh, there are oscillations, and so maybe it's uh, the, uh, also the source of this asymmetry. So the simple example people realize can do this is uh, introdu introducing sterile neutrinos, fermions uh, um, uh, singlet with respect to the standard model gauge groups, and then uh, we can, uh, within the renormalizable extension of the standard model, explain the neutrino masses. And actually, only two uh, Myra neutrinos are needed. And also, you can explain within the same technique the baryon asymmetry via leptogenesis and dark matter. Okay. So it looks like that you have uh, the standard model uh, you know, particles, and only neutrino you have left handed, no right handed. So you introduce the sterile neutrinos, which looks like you know, the completion. Of all this uh, very nice picture. Uh, uh, if you look at the Lagrangian, uh, you introduce the Majorana fermions, which are singlet with respect to the standard model gauge group. And then it's possible to uh, write down the interaction between the Higgs doublet, lepton doublet, and the sterile neutrinos. Once Higgs gained non zero vacuum expectation value, if you look at this uh, fermionic sector, uh, neutrinos, sterile neutrinos, here is an example of the just one sterile neutrino, so you have two to two, uh, two uh, cross two uh, mixing matrix. It's here, it's mass matrix, okay? And if uh, uh, off diagonal element is small with respect to the diagonal element, which contains only the mass of sterile neutrinos, this mixing is small. And then if you calculate the uh, uh, agent values of this, ma of this matrix, for smaller one, you have. Uh, uh, Angle squared multiplied by the uh, mass of uh, sterile neutrinos, and this is the mass of active neutrinos. If the mass is small, this uh, mass, uh, if, if the angle is small, this active uh, neutrino uh, mass is very small indeed, and this is uh, well the the way to explain why neutrinos are so 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 light with respect to all other 
particles we have in the standard model. Uh, this uh, picture can be extended uh, to uh, with the three sterile neutrinos again, and then again the same the same situation, uh, just six uh, by six matrix, and uh, uh, we have uh, mixing matrix and uh, uh, mass for all three active neutrinos in this way. Okay. The uh, important thing here is that uh, because of the, uh, the the mass of active uh, of active mass looks like product of of um, of uh, Yukawa uh, matrices and uh, mass matrices, you can have the situation uh, where uh, Yukawa sub of order one uh, still the mass uh, masses are small. Okay, so actually you 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 have no uh, you know direct uh, uh, direct indication. Which scale uh, the, uh, at which scale the sterile neutrinos uh, dwell, and if you look at this plot here, I try to here is the uh, uh, mass of sterile neutrinos and here, or mass scale of sterile neutrinos, and here is the value of the Yukawa couplings. Okay, uh, there are limits on this on this uh, uh, on this plane, uh, like strong couplings, neutrino mass are too large or, or neutrino mass are too small, but here is still very large region. Where you can address uh, explain it the masses within this setup, uh, starting from the the mass of uh, LSMD and till the uh, God scale mass, okay, and you cover from one to ten to minus thirty. Uh, now the interesting situation here is actually because uh, you can also explain in this way the very the leptogenesis, not only neutrino mass. Okay, if you look at the numbers we we introduce in this case. Uh, we need to explain uh, nine or, or, or seven uh, mass in active neutrino sector, depending on whether we have two, two massive active neutrinos or three uh, massive active, uh, active neutrinos. But we have uh, uh, 11 uh, free parameters in case of two sterile neutrinos and uh, 19 in case of three sterile neutrinos. Okay? So you have four free parameters in the first case and nine free parameters in the second case. Some of them uh, CP violating phases, some of them mixings, and so you can, you know, adjust them uh, in such a way to explain the to try to explain uh, the baryon asymmetry. Okay, and this is indeed the case. Uh, the first idea was or more you know, just ne next year after the paper by Rubakov and colleagues uh, 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 for uh, leptogenesis uh, uh, in uh, the key situation where the sterile neutrinos are heavy. Okay. So they are heavy, they produce in the early universe, and then universe expands, they become, um, you know, they start to decay, and in this decay, they produce uh, the asymmetry. Okay, and this is the uh, idea uh, for cryptogenesis by Fukuhida and Nagida. Later, people realize that if you have, uh, uh, if you have uh, the degeneracy uh, between mass of sterile neutrinos, you can. Uh, you know, you can have uh, the same the same uh, baryon uh, uh, baryon asymmetry with uh, uh, lower scale of neutrino mass. Here is the scale at the level of 10 to 12 GeV. Again, this is bipolar. And then uh, Rovakov with Ahmedov and Smirnov showed that you can actually have uh, the asymmetry even for for lighter neutrinos uh, if you produce and you they produce asymmetry in oscillations in plasma. Okay. So the asymmetry is um, uh, redistributed between uh, sterile sector and active sector. Okay, in this way you produce the, the asymmetry, and then in active sector, uh, you know the uh, Sphaleron process redistributed the asymmetry between baryons and leptons, and in this way you you produce the baryons. Okay. Well, interesting thing here because it is that uh, because of uh, this range you can have uh, you know you can suggest direct searches to test this model. And later, actually, Shapovsky uh, uh, and colleagues realized that all of them, all, all of these, you know, uh, mechanisms are actually one and the same, but but just different parts of the me mechanism operates. And so, for any mass, you can produce uh, the asymmetry depending on on the on the mixing angle. Uh, but but uh, here, because of the mass, it can be lower. It's interesting that you can test this model. This you can test this model looking at the at the decays uh, where the sterile neutrinos can be produced because of the mixing. All this all the events where uh, you produce active neutrinos can uh, result in production of uh, sterile neutrinos and uh, sterile neutrinos 
can decay again in the standard model of the particles, and in this way you can look for them in the beam dump experiments. And actually, there are a lot of uh, you know studies in this way, experimental studies searches for the sterile neutrinos, and also a lot of projects to proceed here because still there is a you know the region allowed. Uh, moreover, uh, you can also address the dark, uh, the dark matter issue here, the light sterile neutrinos, which can decay. Uh, it's also de it always decay to three sterile neutrinos, but because of small mixing and the small mass, it actually can be you know, sufficiently uh, on the lift uh, to explain the dark matter. And another issue related to this, special issue related to this type of dark matter is that it can decay uh, also into neutrinos and photons, and because of that, you can search for you know single monochromatic photons, and uh, the estimate of the of the uh, um, interesting region show that it's in the keV range. So X-ray telescopes can be used to search for this type of neutrinos, and there are many telescopes which uh, which are that uh, have been analyzed. Sometimes people claim some kind of you know uh, signature of this uh, uh, dark matter. Uh, presently, maybe the, um, the best way to test this is with the spectral and gamma gamma telescope. And uh, indeed, here is the region allowed, green region allowed uh, so far uh, in this, in, in this uh, model. Uh, and uh, uh, the uh, even with, uh, you know, operation mode uh, for, you know, scanning over all the, all the sphere. Uh, the survey mode, uh, the SRG can do it. Uh, you know, if you look again, it, how you produce uh, this terrain in the early years, because here is a very, 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 very simple model. You have nothing, nothing else but, but, but mixing. Okay. Uh, the production in oscillations look like, you know, the process in the, in the sun where you have uh, this uh, Mikhail Smirnov mechanism, uh, in oscillations in the plasma. Okay. And, uh, um, uh, in the early universe, you have the the potential, effective potential for, for neutrinos, and there are two possibilities, uh, two uh, two contributions to this case. First is uh, just the simple as uh, uh, you know, interaction of neutrinos in the plasma, a, a symmetric part, and this results in suppression of production. Another one is amplification if you have uh, if you have the asymmetry in the universe. Okay, so this is again related to the idea of how to produce asymmetry in the lepton sector. And you have the, if you have the asymmetry in the universe, in, in the uh, neutrino sector, uh, in, the, in the plasma, okay, then you have a resonance enhancement of the production of sterile neutrinos. And actually, all this region now uh, interesting, is, interest, uh, is interesting because of this mechanism uh, which uh, operate on the on the possible uh, lepton asymmetry in the early in the early universe, and here is the most uh, you know recent results for searches for new star new star experiments. This region is still allowed in this simple uh, in, in this simple um, case. Now, uh, if you look at the uh, now turn, turn to the turn, turn to the universe. Okay, all these uh, searches are in the in the in the galaxy and galaxy structures. Okay. And uh, um, uh, if you look at the universe, uh, uh, you know, uh, homogeneous at large scales and then homogeneous at small scales. And actually, if you look at the uh, cosmic microwave background radiation map, it happens that there are, you have the same, the same pattern of anisotropy and actually both are related. Okay. Uh, uh, we studied this. Uh, uh, perturbations and it happens that uh, we can explain all these pictures. Uh, assuming that we have initial matter perturbations, uh, so called scalar perturbations, the level of 10 to minus 4, and it's adiabatic in the same, in the sense that the chemical composition everywhere is the same, always, uh, you know, uh, related to just fluctuations of temperature, if you want. Okay, it's Gaussian uh, and have a almost flat, flat spectrum. Uh, if you look at the, at the, mm, uh, mm, uh, Fourier decomposition. Here and uh, from uh, the observation, we can uh, you know measure the amplitude and the and the uh, and the, spe and the uh, um, uh, power power law here. It's almost almost flat. Okay. Uh, now uh, when it happens, well, in the standard paradigm, it happens uh, during the inflation. Okay. Uh, during the inflation, the uh, quantum fluctuations of, of uh, 
the inflaton produced uh, you the matter perturbations and then this matter perturbations you know used to, to do this thing uh, uh, actually actually uh, uh, Rubakov suggested there is other mechanism to produce the perturbations maybe they're not related to the inflaton uh, and uh, uh, but even this stage, the inflation stage, it's almost exponential expansion. Uh, it's very similar to the stage we have at present. Uh, if you look at the uh, at the composition at present, uh, we understand that uh, you know here is the uh, here is the numbers and here is the uh, Friedman equation which governs the expansion of the universe. And there are several contributions here. Uh, here is expansion, and here is uh, he, expansion rate, and here is the uh, uh, energy density. And there are several contributors here, and the dominant one at present is not the matter, not that dark matter. It's actually some kind of uh, you know cosmological constant, the, the some uh, component which is almost constant while uh, at, at the expansion of the universe. Okay, it's called dark energy. And uh, well, cosmological constant puzzled Rubakov, uh, and uh, he suggested some ways to cancel cosmological constant and, sub and suggested several, you know, substances instead of this cosmological constant, which actually may, uh, you know, change uh, future in the sense that uh, it's not just uh, exponential expansion. And actually, the past of the universe, he discussed some ideas of bouncing and the cyclic cosmologists. And uh, still, this work is very you know, popular now, and the people people suggested new new ways uh, to uh, you know to solve some uh, conceptual issues uh, in this uh, in this uh, field. Uh, and uh, now, if uh, uh, you know, look at the uh, at the uh, this thing, where this cosmological constant or, or, or some 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 stuff, some uh, dynamical stuff, now it's very important and very uh, interesting. Because of the issues we have uh, in uh, you know measuring the cosmological parameters at present, here is a, a cosmological uh, uh, the Hubble Hubble parameter, okay, and presently it's dominated by the cosmological constant, okay, and here is the measurement made with uh, with the help of a standard uh, distance ladder and the uh, measurement with the help of of uh, cosmic background radiation, okay, and you see the difference, okay, here is the, uh, here is the year and uh, uh, First, they were more or less consistent with, with each other, but later they, you know, uh, moved in different ways. Well, if you look at the at, at the old old measurements, they are more more or less consistent with this number, but the error bar shrinks, uh, error bar shrink, and so the number here is like, here are different. Okay, uh, actually, these are more or less the same measurements. The measurement of the distance ladder, like when you when you uh, try to understand. Uh, you know, try to uh, uh, measure the uh, the distance to some objects. Okay, then measure the uh, uh, the cosmological distance to this object, and uh, try to do it with uh, uh, an object at a larger distances. Okay, Again, the larger distance, the larger distance. And first, you uh, in case of uh, you know, in case of um, uh, uh this uh, distance ladder okay you start with c feed okay and you try to, to do this uh starting from the astrophysical uh, understanding start, starting from from the nearby measurements and in case of cosmology you do this in case of cosmic pepper background radiation you try to do this starting from the measurement of the uh horizon recombination okay it's 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 the the wrapper the wrapper uh, value at the Time of recombination, uh, and uh, if you look at them, uh, there are some measurements based on cosmology, and here is different measurements based on the uh, later universe, and they're different. Okay, and uh, uh, actually, it's very important thing now. People try to understand this issue for more, more or less for, for almost ten years, and here is a different measurements of the same thing with the help of different things, like even even gravitational waves are used here. Okay. Uh, and here is the measurements of like, 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 uh, like C feeds, okay, I would say, and here's the measurements like uh, uh, CMB, okay, one are related to the observables in the early universe, or another one in the late universe, and uh, sometimes they, you know, show that they're not uh, consistent with each other, I mean, different, different 
uh, data, cosmological data, not consist with each other. Just look at here. Here is the baryon, uh, baryon acoustic oscillations data, and these are uh, observations from galaxies and from Lyman alpha of the same phenomena. Okay, they certainly different and would predict the large Hubble. However, if you com uh, combine them, you gain a uh, very small Hubble ratio. Okay. Uh, uh, well, it's uh, uh, actually grown tension with uh, any is, with many many other things. Not only Hubble. Here is the uh, so-called SA. This is another another value. This, this is the the well. Let me say it's uh, well uh, uh, clumpness of the of the matter at uh, the value of uh, eight megaparsecond the uh, present universe. How how inhomogeneous the matter here. Uh, this parameter, and uh, it's also uh, there is also discrepancy in this value. Okay, and uh, all these uh, issues actually, you know, uh, were interesting. And uh, to conclude, as I said, Valery Rubakov contributed uh, to all these major uh, fields in cosmology. And maybe I'm not sure. Maybe this uh, issue is related to the Hubble measurements in S8 because of the you know the the cosmological constant. The main ingredient here might be. Just at the, at the beginning of understanding of, of what's actually there, understanding the nature of dark energy. Uh, 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 he will not learn it with us, um, this, uh, this thing. Uh, and uh, I personally enjoyed uh, every discussion with him. Thank you. Thank you very much for the excellent review. Uh, only quick questions are allowed. Uh, first, from, uh, from from the audience. May I? Yes. I have a technical question, actually. Yes. I'm sorry, because uh, I'm not uh, an expert in the field. And when you have told about uh, celerons, celeron configurations, and uh, if we, for example, switch off the interaction in the uh, young Mills part of the theory, Certainly, nothing will happen and no configuration can form. But when I uh, see uh, on one of your slides that the, the mass of this configuration is inversely proportional to the carbon constant, it seems that's a bit counterintuitive. If I get G smaller and smaller, and the, in the limit of switching off the uh, interaction, the mass of this configuration gets infinite. Is it something? Uh, actually, the uh, rate, uh, I mean, when I say that these phalerons are in equilibrium in the plasma, okay, I compare some rate of some process where these uh, phalerons are involved with expansion rate. And this, uh, this um, rate, uh, the phalerons, include no, not only their I mean, configuration, but also some you know, um, exchange of. Uh, uh, particles with plasma. So this rate is proportional to the alpha v uh, to the fifth degree Okay. So you, uh, I mean, it will be compensated they, in some way. They compensate. Well, let 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 go. It will be compensated in some way. Yeah, yeah. You need you need uh, the weak interactions to keep them in equilibrium. Uh, you know, this one over g squared is because to have this configuration. You you need uh, you know to to use the nonlinear part of equation of motion. You need to have a mu and also a mu squared, and they somehow compete. And in this way, you produce the non-trivial configuration. And uh, because of uh, g entering that it, uh, at g goes to zero, this configuration disappears. The, the very configuration. Well, more elaborate questions uh, should be posted to uh, Zoom. Uh, may, I ask, may I ask a bit very quick, uh, not, not, not a question, but a suggestion to you, because among uh, so many problems you have mentioned in your talk, I would like to ask you to uh, designate, maybe according to your uh, own personal taste, three, the main, three main problems, according to you, in this field. Most urgent, maybe. Uh, uh, well, theoretically, it's the the, the uh, dark energy nature, of course. It's uh, uh, but um, uh, presently, uh, and and that's why I mentioned this issue with uh, H naught puzzle and uh, S eight tension. 
because uh, this, uh, you know, now in cosmology, people uh, claim uh, when they, they they measure some things with uh, uh, accuracy exceeding one percent. Okay, some 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 things. It's uh, not everywhere in particle physics <laughs> we have this accuracy. Okay, uh, and at this level now they have the situation uh, where when uh, you know uh first uh you know plane uh, uh taken as a, a reference point different things okay here you have the hubble measurement at present the, the parameter of the is expansion parameter at present which is based on uh, you know classical measurements of of CTEs and all this like like uh Hubble did himself okay uh starting from this we observe one number starting from uh the uh size of uh, the uh, of the horizon at recombination it's also very well known no, known value we, we observe another number okay we, we find another number plane with the same with the same data okay it's very it's very puzzling and maybe the the, the issue here is in fact we are we are, you know, trying to understand that it's not just a cosmological concept, but but maybe it's the kind of just some some you know dynamical stuff or something something very very peculiar. Okay, but uh, so far we didn't manage to introduce some uh, uh, cosmological model, some new substance, some something you know where you can calculate the numbers and uh, have an agreement both measures. So far, and moreover, people. On this way, people try to introduce not just one new stuff like uh, uh, sterile neutrinos or, or I don't know, axions or um, uh, dark energy, some equation of state. But they try to introduce several stuff, several things. Okay, both uh, uh, additional neutrinos and uh, dark energy. Okay, or, uh, or something else. Okay. Several, several new ingredients, not just one new ingredient, but several new ingredients. And even in this way, they fail to do it. Okay. Moreover, there are some observ observations which people claim that they, you know, they look like uh, an, uh, in disagreement between uh, between themselves. Some data data set, okay, different data sets are not 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 consistent with, with each other. But when you do, when you try to argue this, uh, you know, you always um you're always based on some type of model okay this is this model they seem to be in disagreement so you can you know forget about one thing and another thing and then predict something and estimate some parameters and we explain in this way you can even measure uh, have, have uh, evidence for say the mass of active intelligence for sigma okay uh but uh maybe it, i mean it's not it's not interesting of course if we find some Systematic issues here, <laughs> or some astrophysics, maybe. But uh, but it would be interesting that uh, may, maybe here we're at the, at the stage of understanding of dark energy, and this is not just color field where we play uh, usually, but maybe something more, much more interesting. Uh, it's my it's my <laughs> hope. Okay. Thank you very much. I think other questions should be uh, posted to Zoom chat.